Hi guys, Debbie here. Today's video is going to be a catch up with me and a bit of a makeup playtime. It's been a couple of weeks since I've filmed, so I'll go into that in the video, but I'm super excited to be back and to be filming again. I've not even worn makeup for two weeks, so hope I've still got the skills to do it. But I really want to get creative with this one and do yeah, a makeup look that's kind of fun to create for me to sort of ease me back into it. These are always the most fun for me to film and I hope you enjoy them too. So let's just dive right in and get some makeup on this face. Okay, so before we dive into the makeup, just a little bit about me. I'm Debbie, I'm 53. I do colorful makeup on my channel and I show you that age is no barrier to creating whatever makeup look that you want to create. So we have a lot of fun on this channel creating with indie makeup, some higher end things as well, but predominantly it's colourful. Sometimes I use neutrals, but then with a, a bit of colour mixed in, but that's kind of what my channel's all about. I'm on a low buy this year, or practically a no buy, I've not bought anything in March. So if you're trying to watch the pennies as I am, but you want to still have some fun with your makeup, this might be the channel for you. Okay, so let's get started. I've already done my base makeup to a point. So I've used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the concealer that matches that. I've used the Kat Von D powder. It is the original Kat Von D one, it's about four years old. I think that will last me forever. I've got the Milk Makeup bronzing stick, loving that at the moment. And then I've pulled out an old favorite bronzer. I've got the Fenty Sunstalker bronzer in Shady Beers. So I thought we could do blush and highlight together and then do the eye look together. So for the eye look, I'm gonna be using this, which is the Obsessed palette from Pinky Rose. And I've had it for a few months now, just never used it. So I've got a look in mind that I think it could really work well with. I'm also gonna do a bit of graphic liner. I've got the Suva Beauty UV Bright palette. So I'm gonna use the pink out of that as well. For blush and highlight, I've dug out a really old favorite. This is Cap Von D as well, the Fetish palette. And I've got the eye palette as well. And I ought to do a look with that because I really enjoy that palette. But this is the, the blush palette and it was so nice. And I want to go really daring and use the pink and the pink highlight with it. So I was sitting there thinking, do I have any pink blush? And I don't have too much pink blush. I tend to go more on the coral or orange side, but but yeah, I think this Bathory shade could work really well. I think this is quite a pigmented blush, so I'm going to take it high on my, yeah, it's very pigmented. I'm gonna take it as a high placement. And that always helps make it a bit more wearable if it's quite a, a deep color like this, but it's a beautiful color. I'm not sad I've decided to use it. It's one of these products that's been sitting under my makeup desk. I've got the train case with the 10th anniversary collection and most of my Cap Von D is in there and I forget to use it. But yeah, really, really like that. I'm gonna have to use that more. I'm not really a pink blush kind of person normally, but I like the tone of that. It's really warm and yeah, quite beautiful. Going a little bit more daring with it now. I've kind of decided what colour it is, and I think, yeah, it's really pretty. I always use this Certify blush brush, which I got free with purchase once, but it's got a flat top to it, and it really helps. So, how have you guys been? What have you been up to for the last two weeks? I've got a bit of a sad tale to tell for me. It's not been fun at all. I told you in my last video that I was trying to get fit and I was doing home workout videos. Just gonna go in with the Rose Shock Highlight, the one above the Bathory shade. Yeah, so I was doing this really fun workout that was like a weight workout in about 35 minutes and it was so much fun to do. It was like um, 20 exercises or 25, but you never did them twice, it was just once around the circuit. But I think I've told you guys before, I have a bit of a dodgy back and if I bend a certain way, then I'll pull something in, because I'm so tall as well. But all I was doing was leaning down to pick up a weight off the floor. I just caught it wrong somehow. And it was just ironic because that particular day I'd gone out and bought new yoga pants and stuff because I was getting so into the exercise. But the minute I did it, I was just like laid up totally. I was like on the floor in pain, writhing around. 
and it was like three days before my birthday and I planned to have the week off and film for you guys and had the week off but I laid on the sofa on hot water bottles feeling really miserable so that wasn't a fun time and last week I was back at work whenever I have time off I wish I hadn't because I was so busy last week trying to catch up so I just thought wait until my back's really better but I'm very very lucky because normally when I hurt my back it takes months but this has literally gotten better in two weeks I can just a little bit feel it but it's just a muscle just at the back there on the side like the sacroiliac joint I think it is but that's where it always goes if it's going to but it just felt like a muscle it didn't feel anything too serious and I know so many techniques of, of exercises to do because I've hurt my back so many times before so I did everything right I think I iced it heated it and and did all these exercises and it's better so so I'm really sorry for being away for so long but I didn't want to sit here in pain trying to film I've got a plastic chair here I think it would have really hurt so so yeah it's great to be back right for the eye look i'm gonna use the jumbo pencil in milk from nyx because i want this to be a really bright eye look but i'm gonna ground it with lots of smudged out black eyeliner as well and then i'm gonna do some graphic work with the super brights i really love the water activated kind of paints like those and I've always kind of gone for the original super ones. I know there's other ones like Barry M do them. You'll have to let me know if anyone's tried those, if they're, and if you've tried the super ones, if they're comparable, because you guys know how I love a bit of Barry M. This product's really hard to spread out if you leave it too long. I was just about to do the other eye, and I thought, no, I probably ought to uh, blend this out before I do, otherwise I won't stand a chance of blending it out. Yeah, so, whilst I was off didn't really do a great deal other than watch TV I didn't even want to watch makeup because I was like I can't sit and do any I don't really want to watch it so I watched that behind her eyes series on Netflix if you guys watch that it's weird but kind of addictive like I watched it in a couple of days and then we've been watching the Mallorca files on BBC that's really like escapism at it's best like it's all obviously set in Mallorca it's a cop show but it's it's kind of a nice dynamic if you watch programs like Death in Paradise you would enjoy Mallorca Files I think so we've watched all of those we've watched Hinterland which is a Welsh like detective series there's three series of that on Netflix that's really good that's all we've been doing just literally laying there and watching TV. Right, now I've laid down the base, I want to lay down a black kind of smudgy eyeliner underneath my eyes. I'm going to use this one from Kat Von D. This is Basket Case and it's like an anti-precision liner so it's a, a big sort of tip to it but you can really get like a nice smudged out kind of look with it. But my birthday itself, as I said, I just turned 53 a week or so ago, and that was a nightmare. The cat decided to pounce on me and scratch me, and ended up like all <laughs> like my arm all opened up. Luckily, it didn't get infected, but that was the beginning of the day. He's a bit unpredictable, and he'll do that. And then, as I say, I was feeling really miserable because it was like two days in from doing my back injury. And then we went to watch up before we were going to watch the TV and the sink all blocked up so we spent the night of my birthday undoing all the new bend of the sink and trying to fix that so yeah it's not been fun times shake up shanks I'm afraid we've not had a good time at all but these things are sent to try us and as I say it's made me realise how lovely it is to not be in pain like I feel so much better now I'm just thankful that I didn't need to get any physio or whatever with the situation how things are right now. I'm not even sure if the physio that I use is open. Alright, so I've set down the foundations of the look. I've not done any eyeshadow yet, so let's start that. So as I say, I'm going to use the Pinky Rose Obsessed palette. If you guys aren't aware, that's what the palette looks like. And I want to use this deep colour here in my outer corners I think definitely want to use the pink and I want to use the yellow so 
so this is why I laid down some black because I didn't want things to get too out of control. I think I'm going to do a two-tone crease. I'm going to do yellow into pink into that whatever shade. So I'm going to start with the whatever shade in the outer V because I think that's got an aubergine kind of tone which could lend itself to the look I'm trying to create. And I'm just going to kind of pack that down to start with. I don't want this to be a subtle look at all. We're going to go for it today. Not done any makeup, as I say, for ages. I want to enjoy it today, so if you're looking for something wearable, you probably wouldn't come to my channel in any case. <laughs> but this one's not going to be a wearable look. This is going to be a dramatic look, and I'm really excited to do it. Yeah, so I think once things improve, and the world opens up again. I need to have a, another birthday because that one was really rubbish. Probably one of the worst I can remember in a long, long time. And I still haven't got my switch. My mum gave me the money for it for my birthday. But it's just constantly been out of stock. So I could have done with that whilst I was laid up. Although I don't know if I could have sat up properly for long to have played it. Loving this shade. This is really good. It's not got any fallout really and it's as I say aubergine tones really really nice I'm gonna bring this quite high and I'll probably blend it out with the pink I'm just gonna take that underneath the yeah I think that could work I'm just gonna take that underneath the black there but just kind of blending it out I don't want too much of that colour yeah, I'm liking that so far. It's just building the shape to try and get it the same on both eyes, so. Leaving myself enough room to blend out. Just going to diffuse the edges just a little, ready for the pink. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with that 90s love shade, the pink. This sort of shade's quite scary to me, it's quite a bright shade. I think it's going to be okay, it's going to be pretty. So I'm just using that just to diffuse the edges of that whatever shade that we started with. It's not quite as scary that way. And then I'm going to use that shade across the middle of my eye. I think for some shimmer on the lids I might use a super shock shadow. I really do enjoy those and I've not used many of them out of the Dreamery vault yet so I think we'll use one of those just to add a little bit of sparkle over the top but when I've laid down this white base I quite like this sort of placement where I'll just put it next to one another like this. The only thing with it as you can probably see is it really creases. If you can hear the weather outside, that's been the other thing. It's been like so stormy out there. It ramps up my anxiety, something chronic when it's like this. All the trees are kind of bending and the fence is moving. Even our gazebo looked like it was going to come down yesterday. But it's March and that's what it's like in the UK in March, pretty much. I've got a really harsh line between those two colours that I'm struggling to, to do anything with. So I'm just going to see if I and take a bit of that whatever shade just to help with that. Yeah, it is what it is. I don't think I'm going to get that to blend much more than I have, but as I say, I don't think it's going to matter too much because I'm going to put a super shock over my lid anyway. Love the colour combo of those two together though. I think that's really pretty. Another Morphe M506 and we're going to use the yellow shade called Party On. And I'm just going to pack that pretty much everywhere. I've not put any shadow so far. Yellows are always a little bit dusty I think but this is a pretty bright yellow. don't know how well it's coming off on camera but yeah, it's pretty good. I spent ages wanting these palettes and then never got them and then they had a deal on them. I think it was for Black Friday or perhaps even before Black Friday and there was about 30% off of them and if you buy all three then they're pretty good value in any case so I decided to go for it and then I don't know if you guys are the same sometimes you buy something and you're just not inspired to use it and I don't know why because 
So I say, these are bomb, look at that. Oh, I'm really loving that yellow. I'm gonna take that up as high as I can into the inner corner there. I'm trying to decide what to do on the lower lash line. I think I'll bring another colour in rather than this yellow. Oh, I really miss doing all this. I'm really enjoying it today. I think for the lower lash line, I'll bring in a bit of shimmer and I'm gonna go for that shade lefty. I think that could be pretty. I've got kind of a bullet shape brush to apply that. Oh yeah, that was a good decision. That's really pretty. Haven't done anything kind of rainbow-esque in the longest time. Yeah, these shimmers in here are like a traditional shimmer. That pretty though. But what's going to be tricky is blending this into the yellow. I'm just going to take a little bit of time just to, to do that, just to bring it up into that corner. I've got a shade here called Damgina and that one's quite bright. I think that could lighten things up in the inner corner. So I'm just going to pack that over the top. Just as a bit of an inner corner sparkle there. I'm going to take a brush with no additional product just to try and blend this colour that I've taken up into this yellow. So we've almost got a green going on here now, like a minty green. And I'm going to take the shade Sisters and I'm just going to blend underneath that lefty shade that we put down earlier. And that one's a powdery shade. using light pressure just to diffuse that. Right, so I'm just going to hop off camera now to add a black wing liner just with the NYX Epic Ink Liner and then when I come back we'll do the graphic liner with the Suva Brights palette together and finish off the look. Okay, so wings are on. Quite a good wing day I think. I'm going to go in with this Colourpop Super Shock. There's no name on the back so I can't tell you what the colour is. But it's a really pale, frosty kind of pinky shade and I'm just going to use that just to add a little bit of sparkle on the lids really. So I'm just going to, just as I say, add that over the pink and the yellow just on the lid space. Nothing crazy. Just wanted it to just catch the light a little bit and just give a little bit of sparkle. And you could quite easily just have kept this matte but I just wanted to incorporate one of these. I really enjoy using them. I think they're really pretty and it also helps to hide where it's not blended too well. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. This would be a lovely highlight shade this one. It's definitely adding a little bit of sparkle which is what I wanted. Okay next we're going to go in with the shade Smoosh from this UV Brights palette from Suva Beauty and I've never done graphic liner on camera before. I have done it reasonably successfully before but not on camera so we will see how this goes. I'm going to use the little brush that comes with it. I need a water activator so just adding a little bit of water and just getting it to the consistency that I want. And then I'm going to try and do a line from kind of my nose and to meet that, that pink so Wish me luck. Oh, it's not been too bad actually. And then I'm going to flick that up towards my brow. I think if you're using these liners, you just got to go for it in almost like one stroke. You can't mess about. And I love how that looks now. I've got to try and replicate it on the other eye. <laughs> this could be fun. It's not completely accurate. It's a little bit lower than the other eye. So I think what we can do is bring this eye down just a bit. Yeah, that's better. So now we've got symmetry, but I just need to make this one just a little bit thicker, I think. I 
and I'm just going to finesse it just a little bit to bring it into almost like a point at the front. No, I'm not mad at that. The other thing I want to do is pick out the bottom of my eyeliner there. So, wondering whether to stick with the same colour. I think I will, otherwise it will start to get crazy. So we'll, we'll go with that. She says we're wearing 10 different colours on our eyes, but I think that will be enough. I love that they brought these out in like a palette because obviously you can mix and match the colours, but you get far too much product in the, the pots really. You never get through this much. I've got a primary one out at the moment I am tempted to buy. That was reasonably easy. I think the lower part of it will be enough. I think if we try and outline the whole wing, it'll spoil it. Hey guys, so that's the look to this point. Gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be right back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. Probably one of the craziest I've ever done, but I absolutely love it and I've had so much fun doing it. It's just been nice to get back to playing with makeup. I knew I wasn't gonna come back and do a neutral kind of toned down look. I wanted to come back with a bang and do something that speaks to my heart and that is very kind of goth inspired and very Debbie with big wings and graphic details. And then of course I had to top it off with a black lip because there's so much going on on the eyes. I think whatever color I'd have chosen would have been competing with it. I'm not very much into neutral, nudie kind of lips. Sometimes if I'm going for something a bit more classic, I suppose, but for a look like this, a black is kind of a neutral. And so I've used Luna Beauty's Wicked, which is one of the best black lipsticks. I like it for a couple of reasons. It's got a really nice applicator to be able to draw that cupid's bow shape that I like because my lips are so thin and, and yeah, they're just not the greatest. So if I can find a doe foot that kind of accentuates them more, but it's quite thin because I like to be able to, to play with the line and have control. So love it for that reason it's really long lasting it's a great formula it's out of stock on beauty bay but if you get the chance to pick it up and you want a black lipstick really love this one but i had so much fun as i say doing this the pinky rose obsessed palette oh why did i wait so long to try that it's so good and there's so many good color options in here i mean there's some good reds in here as well some brilliant sort of sunset shades so i think i've chosen the best shades out of it for today though but I can't wait to use the other two. I've got the 80s baby and the peacock one. So if you guys want to see any looks with those and let me know as well, do you like these kind of looks where I've just gone for it and just put every color on my eyes possible? They're the ones I like to do the most, but I know they're not the sort of ones that you're probably gonna recreate at home. But do you get something out of seeing me pull them together anyway? I'd love to know. But thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been away for so long, but I never wanna jump on camera when I'm not feeling 100%. I think you can just see it anyway. You know, I didn't wanna push through the pain and be feeling really down and try to be, hey, you know, here's Debbie doing a makeup look. You know, that's not me. I'm always real with you guys. So I've really been struggling, like mentally struggling because of how bad my back was and just feeling like everything was rubbish. So I just need to be in a better headspace before I came back on camera to film. But I'm feeling so much better. It's just so nice not to be in pain anymore and just to appreciate how good that feels and just get back to doing makeup, which I love. So thank you for sticking around and thank you for everybody that answered the comment that I said I was gonna be away for a while with such positivity and saying that you'll always stick around for me. It's so appreciated. So. Thank you for watching, as I say, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, particularly if you like these kind of bright and dramatic and goth inspired looks, because they're what you're gonna get most of on my channel at the moment. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys are keeping safe and well, and I hope you're managing to cope with lockdown. Not too much longer to go for us in the UK. We've got about a month before things start to get a bit more back to normal. So yeah, hope you're doing well and hopefully catch you in the next video. Hopefully gonna be filming tomorrow and doing something a lot more toned down and using my Pat McGrath Divine Rose too. So 
If you want to see that, then hopefully catch up with you either tomorrow or whatever the next day is that I upload. But take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.